Jessica, and we also live on the Instagram, Champagne Productions. How's it, everybody? You're just getting all the feeds set up. There we go. Just mute this. Okay, so you got there we go. Yes, yeah, so I've got us up and running on the Champagne Productions Instagram page. Hey, everybody. Welcome to our Sunday Night Live 24 May 2020. Facebook is also up and running. And remember, if any of you miss out on any of this, we do upload it all to our YouTube channel, Champagne Productions YouTube channel. And I will also do a summary afterwards of all the points that we raise throughout the live. So the main reason why we are here today to have our live with you guys is to discuss the 2020 season and where we are standing and what our thoughts are um, currently with the season. Um, as you guys know, we're looking at going into level three lockdown first by the first of June. Yeah. Can you just turn this down a little bit? There we go. So first of June, we're going into level three lockdown. Um, not a lot of happy news for all of us gym bunnies who are eagerly, eagerly waiting for the gym to open. Um, I know I can't wait. It's just not the same. <laughs> Home gym is just not the same as throwing the metal around in the good old big gyms. So we are also expecting our president at 7 o'clock after our live to come on and tell us a bit more about the regulations for Level 3 lockdown. Um, we are keeping our eyes closely on all the regulations. Uh, Champagne Productions is very, very, very privileged to have Mr. Safety on board, our safety consultants. Um, over the years, there hasn't been really much that Mr. Safety hasn't got right. We've done some incredible events, and that's their game, is to get events approved. So we've been looking to them religiously to give us advice on how things are going to move forward once we are allowed to do our shows. Are you having fun there, AG? Sorry. Okay, so currently we have already postponed our first regional, which was Muscle Militia Grand Prix 5. That's been postponed to the 26th of September this year. And we have made a decision with regards to the upcoming shows that are scheduled to take place before September. It is the Iconic Classic Josie scheduled to take place in five weeks' time with the Iron Showdown four weeks after that and then the Eye Candy Mother City in, in August. So as a collective, um, myself, Garen and, and our partners, we met. We discussed all the options, what we thought was the best for you guys, for our athletes, the best for everybody with regards to prepping for the shows and getting ready for the shows. And in light of the fact that Things are moving rather slowly through the different stages of lockdown. And as an event, we're bound by the Disaster Management Act. Rachi, do you want to come into this frame here? This is the Instagram frame over this side. And we've got the Facebook one up there. So, Garen, besides being involved with Champagne Production and MPC Worldwide South Africa, his day job, his primary day job is to get events of all sizes, big and small. That's his job, is to get events approved, to make sure they're safe, to make sure that everybody's looked after at events. So, now more than ever, he's, his job and what he's been doing, not in the event sphere, but in the occupational health and safety sphere, is quite important at the moment for all businesses so I've looked to him as Champagne Productions to help me put the necessary measures in place to get us COVID-19 ready for when the shows are allowed to take place so in light of everything and in consultation with our safety guys we've decided that the best thing for us to do for the next three shows is to postpone them for now we are going to be postponing the eye candy classic josie 
the Iron Showdown, and the Eye Candy Classic Mother City. We're going to be postponing them to after Muscle Militia Grand Prix 5, which is scheduled for the 26th of September. So in due course, we will put out new dates. Um, we are going to have to renegotiate with venues, see which venues are taking bookings at the moment. And once we have those dates settled and secure, then we'll let you guys know of those dates. But for now, we've taken the decision that our season will officially then kick off on the 26th of September with Muscle Militia Grand Prix 5. So come hell or high water, that event is going to go on. Okay. Gee, tell them, how's it going to go on? <laughs> yeah, whatever means we need to do, if it is restricted to the broadcasting um, op option that I have for the clients where we basically will restrict it to let's say 50 a division um, and record it and broadcast it with nobody in the audience if, if that be it um, we stream it, we sell virtual tickets, we do whatever we've got to do in order for that show to take place I mean I will not judge it online virtually, we've got to judge it with the judges so um, but we'll, the body's actually there in front of the us. The body's there in front of us. We will work within whatever regulations um, get put in front of us. Um, I have no problem conforming to the regulations. Um, I'll be consulting to my clients on a daily basis, on a weekly basis, their updates. I believe Cyril's talking later this evening, which will get a bit of a sense of which direction he is planning to go. I mean... Well, already I can tell you that in the draft regulations for going to level three lockdown, um, they have said that non-contact sports matches, aka bodybuilding shows, because that's non-contact sports, would be allowed with no fans in attendance, only the teams, management, medical staff, broadcast teams, and journalists. Two journalists. Two, two journalists. So those are the guidelines that are floating around and... We are watching with bated breath to see what the actual guidelines are going to be and how we can move forward and implement it in our COVID planning um, to make the shows as safe as possible at all times for our athletes, but also within reason to make sure the show happens, you know? Yeah, we need we need one show this year, one to, one to show 2020 that we we still, we still love that stage. Yeah. yeah, we need to survive 2020. And besides that, um, for those of you that do watch and check out things, there was a big announcement with Mr. Olympia. So the Mr. Olympia has moved back onto the strip, back to the people where they want it. And it's scheduled for the middle of December this year. So I already have a couple of athletes that are um, going to be joining the team going there. There's a couple that have said so. And, of course, we need to have a regional before the middle of December to ensure that those guys do qualify, um, qualify to go and do the pro qualify at Mr. Olympia. What are you looking for? Oh yes, so it has, it's moved to Mr. Olympia, heads to Planet Hollywood. Um, so yes guys, that, that is the decision that we took as a collective. We just think that's the most fair for everybody that, I know I speak to athletes on a daily basis who check in with me about whether or not the three upcoming shows are still going to be taking place. And the standard answer that I, you know, that we've been given is that within our means, everything is going to take place according to the regulations. But because things are moving so slowly and there's quite a lot of doubt as to how things are going to happen. We just think it's really fair to let the athletes know for those three shows that we will be postponing those shows. Um, effectively, then, the first regional for our season will be in 18 weeks' time from this weekend. So that's still ample time for, for athletes to get ready for the show. Um, and also, 18 weeks is such a, it's a long time away. We've been in lockdown now for 10 weeks. It's 10 weeks, right? I think this is week 10 that we're in lockdown, so in another 10 weeks time, we would still be eight weeks out from the first regional. So I really pray that things start going back to a little bit of normal. I know it's never going to be back to the normal that we know it to be. Okay, I'm just gonna have a check and see if we got any comments going here. If you guys have got questions, you can drop them in the comments. We are going through them. 
we're not going to stay on too long tonight because we also want to wait and see what Mr. Cyril has to say for us. It's nice to see all my regular peeps checking in here. I miss you guys. We miss you guys so much. Bring some of your face now. We didn't preset tonight, I was busy. Okay. <laughs> well, now you're taking your time to. There we go. Okay, now you're ready. So, regards to our thinking of how we think we're going to roll out the season. Let's say 26th of September comes and we run the show as if the shows have been happening as always. We will then um, slot in a show for KZN and a show for Cape Town. We'll make sure that if shows can proceed as normal from Muscle Militia Grand Prix 5 onwards, we will make sure that we bring a show to Durban and we'll be bringing a show to Cape Town so that we cover the major provinces. And also remember, we also do still have the Eye Candy Classic Pretoria that is still scheduled for the 5th of December. So that one is still staying on the schedule. But that's what we can promise and commit to you guys is that come hell or high water shows we will make sure that there is a show that takes place for all of our superheroes, athletes, and fans. Let's have a look at questions. Yeah, guys, we will always keep you updated as best we can. And you know, you if you have a question, you're more than welcome to drop me an inbox. Even if it takes me a little while to get back to you, I always do. Um, oh, Jake, P.E. <laughs> that was also very important for us to understand, like, exactly when are we going to be allowed to do um, cross-provincial travel. That's also very important Um for the athletes that are not in the major cities, for them to also get to the shows. Even if it's by road. Okay. So something I just want to remind you guys, for those that have already entered um, the shows that are getting postponed. Your entry is 100% valid for when the show takes place. Um, also, if you guys would... Oh, what was that? That was quite right. We'll sneak across the provincial... Yeah. <laughs> we'll give you guys an essential letter because it's essential to come to the show <laughs> 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 for crossing the border. <laughs> We've got a couple of competitions we did, eh? Like I definitely know who who had the best um, family workouts. I can I can definitely award that winner tonight. The pile of stuff. The pile of go. stuff has to go. It's huge. <laughs> Let's go. What else you were going to do? Oh, here's my mask. Yeah. Oh, I, I don't know where your mask is. Okay. So other things that we got going, um, we're going to be running a promo on the screen at the moment for the Champagne Productions Facebook page. We've got um, a special coming up. It's now winter time, and those hoodies, beanies, we got a couple of them still. Empro wear. We've got limited, limited stock left. I had a couple of inquiries coming today, but we are running a thirty percent off sale on all Empro wear. Um, what have you got there, G? Let's show. My mask. Let's not do a Cyril. <laughs> yeah, don't do a, don't do a Cyril. So these are some new masks that we got in from Militia Mask. That's pretty neat there. You got it inside out, G. 
It's inside out. I don't want to wear it. <laughs> don't put it on a live TV. <laughs> so yeah, these cool masks are out there and you can get them exclusively at champagneproductions.ca on the online store. Militia mask. This is my one. There we go. And once they're on, they are on, super secure. And getting back one handed in the bin. These are really sweet. Get yours. This one's part of the limited range that will be available this week. So Wonder Woman, what do you think? We haven't named G's one yet. <laughs> Show them over there. So who knows guys? When you hit the stage, maybe you have to hit the stage with a mask on. Let's ask my safety consultant over here what my COVID. Um, or maybe we can, yeah. I saw a really funny video that he's working on with the kids in school and some of the measures that they're putting in place. And one of the schools in China have given the kids these safety hats and there's these sticks coming out of them. So it's like makes makes it that like nobody within like a one and a half meter radius can come here that's their social distancing so people are very creative um so yeah we are definitely we've started working on um plans for sparkly yes exactly the masks can match our trunks and our bikinis so we we have started planning to run the Muscle Militia Grand Prix 5. We are running it and planning it as a full live event like we normally would do with spectators. And we are also planning the Muscle Militia Grand Prix 5 as an event where there are no spectators or fans and the event will be live broadcast. Um, we, there's certain uh, limitations that we will have to work within. Um, so that's why we're really waiting this evening to hear what the guidelines are with regards to the number of people that are allowed to be um, in one place at a time for a live broadcast scenario for um, non-contact sports like bodybuilding. Let me have a squeeze here. That's 100% CJ. These masks, like I wear glasses, and they don't fog up my glasses at all. I mean, I think they're great for the training. I did a, a session the other day, and they're very breathable. There's a huge, huge difference to having a training session fronting in front of your face. So I was very, very impressed with the, the breathable um, ability. Or, I don't know what to put it for those masks. They're great. <laughs> so a couple of questions. Pro qualifier, pro qualifier. So guys, the, the pro qualifier, what we've decided with regards to Muscle Militia Grand Prix 6 is it... It's scheduled currently for the end of October, but if Muscle Militia can carry on as normal without a hitch, we need to make space for the other two provinces. So at this point in time, if a Joburg show, a KZN show, and a Cape Town show is to take place this year in 2020, it will make the most sense for us to push the pro qualifier out to early next year because we have to give um, you guys a chance to qualify for the pro qualifier and we need to give everybody an equal opportunity um, and in saying that covering those provinces so will it be live broadcast okay we've got a question coming in there that even if it is live broadcast which will be a great idea um, how are we going to keep the numbers? So, okay, so like we mentioned, we would then 
have to implement limits on how many athletes' entries we can accept per division so that we can ensure we stay within the, the guidelines and the numbers that they do put out there at the time of the show. So for all we know it, guys, by the 26th of September, um, nobody knows what's going to happen, but for all we know it, things could be back to like the new normal and we could be going on or not. So we have to keep working within the guidelines and parameters that are set by um, our country, by the South African government. And that's all we can do is adhere to that. We can't go ahead and do the event um, and not stick to the guidelines because we're all getting into a lot of trouble for that. And at the end of the day, we just want to do what is 100% according to the legislation and keep our fans safe. For me, the, the discussion between partners, what was key for me to, to share with you guys was, how can you compete if you can't even train? The gyms aren't open. So that for me was the, the deciding factor is we need to at least get one comp in this year so we got muscle militia postponed way out there. And I feel we should be able to some way be able to get in the gyms before then to get into shape for that. And once we are rolling with that, I believe we will reschedule and plan everything else that, uh, we, that we're having to push out. I think that if that gives you an understanding of what our thinking is and why are we kind of just putting it out with no date to it, well, we feel we need to get you guys back in the gym first. And once you're back in the gym, we'll do the first show, Muscle Militia, as a regional, and then we'll plan with you guys to sort out the rest of the season or shows or make sure that there's a route to the pro qualifiers and yeah, any other shows you want to get to. I think international travel is going to be something we have to keep our eye on. Um, hosting a pro qualifying, you can't get people in here. It doesn't make sense. Yeah, and I mean, at the very least, um, when we do our pro qualify, at the very least, we want our, our neighbours from Africa. I mean, we've got loads of athletes in Namibia, Botswana, um, Zambia, Swaziland, Lesotho. And the boys in the Middle East, I leave them out. Yeah, and the guys in the Middle East. Like, everybody wants to come. I'm just saying, like, if air travel is restricted, at least our, our bordering, neighbouring countries need to be able to come in and... Um, also participate in the shows. So Steph had asked, will the athletes' entries be first come, first serve? Yeah, so like we can definitely it, look at like doing another live after. Yeah, you know. once we once we know what capacities are and we're able to officially put it out that that's what we're doing and we know what our numbers are, I feel we need to work on a first come, first serve basis. Um, yeah. If we hit that number, we we look for alternative options and how do we get around it, but it will inevitably, I feel, be a first come first. Yeah. Let me just hit a refresh here. Yeah. So I hope you guys are all keeping safe. Man, I really miss the gym. I really miss the gym. But we're bodybuilders and nothing stops us. Nothing stops us if, if, if we want to achieve our goals and we want to do our thing. They tell us we can't go to gym, don't matter. Just make a plan. <laughs> Stop picking up furniture. <laughs> Don't let anybody hamper your spirits, guys. You got a goal, no matter what, stick to it. What are you looking for there, G? Let me see. Any more questions there, guys? I don't want to stay on too long tonight. I just wanted to make sure that you guys were filled in on our thinking and where it's going to go. <laughs> So, first show of the season um, is going to be Muscle Militia Grand Prix 5 on the 26th of September. And we will definitely keep you guys posted on dates for um, the KZN and the Cape Town shows. Iron Showdown and Eye Candy Mother City. 
We'll find a spot for you guys. Let me just do it once. <laughs> Here we go. What day is today? It's Sunday, right? I wonder how many of you are having that moment where you forget what day you're on. Oh. Did you just lose our love? Yeah. yeah. So that was me right there. Can't take any calls right now. You should be watching our love. Yeah, know what why doing. are you phoning us? <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Yeah, I'm glad. As long as you guys are safe. I know it's boring, but safe is always good. Okay, I've got a comment here from Ben. How about trying to first to open registration online? This As soon as the registration date is up, then you can plan. Maybe to separate the show, maybe in two days to occupy the number of streets. I hear what you're saying, Ben. So definitely if we're going to be going with the broadcast, the broadcast option... We're not restricted to one day, guys. Um, so even if it means that we do split it over two days. Or even three days. Or even three days. Um, that's what we're saying. We will make sure that the show goes on. The show is going to go on. We'll figure it out. We'll make a plan to make it happen. We have my shirts. I've never, ever wanted anything and never got my way. So I'm yes. just... I am a, <laughs> If I want something... I always get it. And not because I'm a brat, because I work hard to make sure it happens. So I will make sure that Garen works really hard to make it happen. <laughs> yes, yeah, so come hell or high water, Muscle Militia Grand Prix 5 is going to take place. Any more questions? So for you guys that are looking and tuning in on the Facebook page, you'll see the catalog there for the Militia Moss, exclusively available through Champagne Productions. And it's for the entire family. They are all sizes from little kitties age two upwards and even to the guys, the bigger guys. That's a good point. Good point, Kat. The, the biggest thing will be the Wayne before the comps, so... We will we will think of ways and means we... I don't think we'll have the Wayne the day before. It will it will be as the session runs. Um, no, no, no. We would do, I feel we do it the, way, the day before. My biggest concern of the whole event is just social distancing backstage. So everything else, I feel we can we can manage um, in a protocol and system. My concern is the is the spacing and keeping social distancing in the backstage area, on the line. Everything else, no stress. It's just what measures we need to put in place to accommodate the numbers that Cyril is going to tell us this evening. For me, whether we live with audience members, it just reduces and balances that out. But my mind is, what are we doing in the backstage? Yeah, because it has to stay non-contact for us to be allowed to do it. Yeah. Non-contact sport. Yeah, like, I mean, I feel with my consultation that I've done on the gyms already, it's pretty easy to manage the weights area for the, like in our pump-up zone with the sanitization of the, of the barbells, dumbbells, and the, the the cables and the benches and stuff, and anything we put down there, which will be standard hygiene practices that you would be operating in the gym anyway, or I hope you are anyway. Um, so that protocol we can we can facilitate. It's not a problem. It's how do I get enough space and mark out enough spacing for that backstage? One, to be practical, the numbers, the spacing, and two, like the, the warp, the passageways, whatever, I don't know. We're going to work it out. Yeah, but we can only put those plans firmly in place when we know what our number is that we 
working towards. So I've heard lots of numbers out there like maximum 50 people. Um, that's really doable, like 50, and if we space it out over a day or two, it's really doable. But once we know what the restrictions and the limitations and the numbers are, then we can start planning according to that. So like I said, we, we're currently planning on a full live version of the show, as well as a no spectator, no fan version of the show. Let's have a look. Um, you're 100% right, G. If we, um, we go with how we did the Big Man Weekend, it's definitely possible. And the Muslim Militia Grand Prix 5 is at that venue. It's scheduled for the same venue as Big Man Weekend. Um, in the big part, side. In the big side at the Hard Part Arena. So space isn't a problem. Um, let's have a look here. It will definitely, if we go that option of the broadcasting, it will definitely be a live judging scenario. Uh, uh, ben, up to how long you will be giving us time to prepare if lockdown is over? Let's say it ends August, but time between the date. Well, that, that's what I'm looking at, Ben. That's my, my my important factor on competing. You can't compete if you cannot train. So for me, this tonight is a major thing as to where we're going as a country and as a nation. I feel at this point, personally, in my opinion, like I was all for the lockdown. I really felt that at the time it was essential, but like in weighing up, what is it preventing currently? I'm not. I'm not sure. I align and understand. So I will reserve my opinion, and comment on whether I think it's effective. Um, I'm just hoping that Cyril lets us operate in what I feel is safe. Let us make the decision what's safe. Yeah. Because. The queues outside the shops and food are simply insane. Yes, all we can do is pray that our president uh, makes the right decisions for us. Rational decisions that make sense. Rumours have it that gyms are going to open in July. I don't know, I haven't heard those rumours. Where was it? There was somewhere overseas where they kept the gyms closed, or the gyms have been closed. And was it in the States? Yeah, I'm not going to say which one. <laughs> <laughs> um, where gyms were closed, but the guys were just showing up and they were doing their thing, gymming outside the gym. They basically took over the sidewalk and did coordinated classes and individual workouts, the entire sidewalk, um, while protesting, saying, if you can't stop us working out, we want me to away from each other, let us in and we can sanitize the place while, we, while we're while working out. So, I think what, what a lot of people are taking for granted is that we're not stupid. We can like stay one and a half meters away from each other. Um, <laughs> yeah. We will be, we are really good. We're disciplined. Bodybuilders are really disciplined. Let us go train. Let, Let us go train. train. Open the gyms. Open the gyms. So, yeah. I believe that the schools are, the, that's why I'm really interested to hear this. Um, oh, I've got a couple of questions coming through on the Facebook. Hey Sergio, yes we have measured uh, mentioned about the Eye Candy Classic Joburg, um, which was scheduled to be now for the 27th of June. So we, we've definitely postponed the Eye Candy Classic Joburg, the Iron Showdown and the Eye Candy Mother City is postponed for now. We will put those dates out. I will summarize, um, like I said in the beginning, I will put a summary of everything we discussed here when I share the link for the video for anyone that has missed it. Date for the show, Rian? Like I just said. <laughs> I'll put it all in the summary for you guys. Let's see. Yeah, I think for now, guys, we are done. We're going to wait and see what Mr. Ramaphosa has to say about us getting back into the gym and 
um, with regards to the regulations surrounding non-contact sports and events. Um, as soon as we have some more solid information to work on, we will be back. Um, we will be back. We'll put out another live, and we can have a Q and A session based on the regulations and the plans that we're going to be putting in place. But in short, the show will go on. I always get my way. Right. I'm the boss lady. Right. <laughs> okay, guys. So stay safe. We will chat soon. Um, so get your militia mask from Champagne Productions online store. And we'll be in touch soon, guys. Peace out.